Being a stay-at-home mom with three little kids, I was drowning in all things motherhood and needed something that was just an outlet for me. In 2008, I started a mommy blog, and my middle son had just seen some movie that terrified him, and everything was scary. Scary beds, scary car seats, scary mommy. And once he called me that, I just thought, that's the perfect blog name. I had no idea that there was a blogging community. When I got my first comment, I was hooked. Jill created a space on her blog where mothers could post their honest experiences about the tough parts of parenting anonymously. I noticed a trend of moms who were struggling with feeding their kids and their families. It struck me and I felt like I had to do something. Jill asked for donations on her blog to help feed struggling families for Thanksgiving. That first year, we were able to raise $20,000 in a week, feed 400 families who otherwise wouldn't have had a Thanksgiving. That was the moment that Scary Mommy Nation was born. Scary Mommy Nation now helps hundreds of families get food for Thanksgiving by sending them a $50 gift card and a handwritten note. Being a single mom of three growing appetites is not always easy. We can do tuna fish too. And it hurts your feelings to not be able to provide for your kids the way that you want to. Scary Mommy Nation helped me to be able to give my kids a real Thanksgiving meal with family. What I love about Thanksgiving is there's nothing divisive about it. It's about celebrating family, and who doesn't want that? Please welcome Scary Mommy creator Jill Smokler to the show! <laughs> This is so amazing what you're doing. You said, you said that blogging helped you, helped you feel less alone as a mom. Tell me it a little did. bit more about that. I was in this neighborhood where I was completely an outcast. It was very conservative. Mm. I felt like I was the only one who wasn't sort of skipping through my days with a smile on my face. <laughs> and I just like, hadn't found my people in mm -hmm. my real life. And right. once I started the blog, I discovered they were there. And they were there any time of the day, whenever I needed them, and right. I could just shut them off <laughs> whenever, yeah, whenever I needed you needed to do that too. How amazing. many hits have you gotten on your website? I get around six or seven million a month. Six <laughs> or seven million. Yeah. Wow. That's, that's a lot. <laughs> it is, but I think, that, I think the need for people talking about the mm -hmm. tough parts of motherhood and the struggles is so necessary. So now you took that and you sort of started to gravitate it towards charity. I did. Scary Mommy Nation. I did, which was really accidental. I, I'm sort of an accidental philanthropist for one month of the year. <laughs> but it's amazing. I think people just really want to give, and they just needed a way to do it. And I discovered after the first year with the Thanksgiving project, and I was just addicted afterwards. Wow. And you've gotten already over 2,000 applications this year? We have. We've raised about $130,000 in 20 days. It's been crazy. It's been, it's been amazing. And it's, oh, and it's very, I mean, it's So does that cover everyone? No, no, no. We have a waiting list of about 250 people, which we are, like, working around the clock to try and fill them. Because when you read these stories and these testimonies from people who are just, you know, they're parents, they're struggling, they mm -hmm. want that one day a year to, to just make everything sit down. okay yes, with exactly, the family. Exactly, and not, not feel like that day is just not doable. I think that's a lot. I think that everybody can relate to that. Just yeah. one time a year to, to not have to stress about exactly. where this is coming from, what am I going to do, how are we going to put this food on the table, just one day with the family. Right. Well, I don't think yeah. you have to do it all alone. You know, I, I hate for people not to get their turkeys <laughs> on Thanksgiving. And, and it's perfect because uh, our friends at Butterball are giving you 250 turkeys so you can take care of oh. everyone else on your wait list. Oh, we can't have that. We got to make sure they have a great Thanksgiving this year. Oh.